Welcome back everyone to the Reinhardt's Rundown. In our COPD series so far, we have talked about the causes and characteristics of COPD, and today it's time for a quick symptoms review. Keep in mind that the symptoms of COPD are both chronic and progressive, and that there are three main hallmark symptoms of COPD. Number one, chronic and progressive dyspnea, or shortness of breath. Number two, chronic and progressive cough. Number three, chronic and progressive sputum production. A few other things to keep in mind. Symptoms can vary greatly from day to day in COPD patients, but over the long term, continue to progress with dyspnea being the most common and what we consider the cardinal symptom. Patients may present with a higher burden of one or more of the hallmark symptoms, meaning that you know some patients might have more sputum production than others or more cough and less sputum. The order of symptoms that present can vary from one patient to another. For example, cough or sputum or shortness of breath might appear years before we have the actual impact of airflow limitation or a drop in the FEV1, or it could be reversed. We could see dramatic limitation in airflow before symptoms even begin or with minimal symptoms. While airflow limitation and FEV1 are key for diagnosis and assessing our gold category, these differences in symptom presentation lead us to determine treatment decisions and are based more on functional status. Subscribe for our next update where we'll dig into the presentation of COPD symptoms and practical ways for you to assess disease management in the field. That's the Reinhardt's Rundown.